The Barrens is huge. It is a hot, dry collection of vast savannas, a region defined by its sheer size and unrelenting climate. The Barrens stretches across central Kalimdor, serving as a crossroads for the continent where rugged adventurers exchange not just exotic goods, but wild banter and body humor. However, the Barrens has its own native denizens, comprised of a host of uncivilized anthropomorphic creatures, each staking their claim to its unforgiving expanse in stark opposition to any intrusion on their sacred lands. Harpies roost in the craggy foothills to the north, taking refuge in the mountain's base from the endless conflicts which have characterized the Barrens for innumerable generations. Centaur tribes roam the plains and lock down the oases, their violent tendencies making them a bane to wayward travelers and thirsty settlers alike. And despite the efforts of the centaur, the Torin are here too. The Bloodhoof tribe, having roamed the barrens long before the orcs came ashore on Kalimdor's coast. Yet among all these races, the Quilbor stand out as the most dangerous inhabitants of the barrens. These bristled, boar-like creatures are fiercely territorial, with strongholds concentrated around Razorfen, a spiny labyrinth of mazes and crude fortifications which provide them sanctuary. These bestial men are progeny of a piggish demigod, the guardian Agamagan, who fell in the defensive war of the ancients. Agamagan's remains are what cultivates the Razorfen vines to grow into this shelter for the Quillbore, whose survival instinct has rooted them to the corpse of their divine forebearer. The Quillbore wish to resurrect Agamagan by any means necessary, even if that means selling out their entire species and the barons to the Lich King's necromancers. But as of now, the Quillbore have refused this offer, tending to their own territory in the shadows of conflicts far beyond the scope of their control. For the Horde, the Barrens represents a new beginning and a vital connection between two major cities, Orgrimmar and Thunder Bluff. Settling this land is a statement of resilience, a chance to build a future free from the chains of their past. The Orcish outpost called the Crossroads, serves as a vital hub of trade and defense, while the Torin settlement of Camp Taurao also lies on the Gold Road, albeit much closer to the Torin homeland. Furthermore, goblin caravans driven by neutral but opportunistic traders navigate these lands, offering a lifeline of commerce and goods, operating from the coastal settlement of Ratchet. The goblins here remain on friendly terms with much of the Alliance, though they share in many of the Horde's overarching interests and enemies. From the shores, pirate bands and sea-bound invaders threaten the stability of the Barrens, and excavators have begun to survey both the Barrens' oil pits as well as an ancient Titan facility. The Wailing Caverns are the foremost threat to the orcs and goblins in the Barrens. Here, the Druid Naralex, once a force for healing, inadvertently unleashed chaos when his attempt to rejuvenate the Barrens went awry. The creatures that now infest the caverns represent both a physical and symbolic challenge to the cycle of life which has persisted in the world above. The broken dreams of renewal highlight a poignant question for all of the Baron's inhabitants. Is one a monster because of the circumstance of their birth, or the actions they choose to take? The Quilbor, despite their savagery, fight to protect their homes no less than the Orcs fight to establish theirs. They will pledge loyalty to whoever offers them safety and security just as the Torin cowed before the banner of the Horde. The Centaur may be vicious marauders, but their violence reflects a harsh upbringing in a land that spares no one, fiercely protecting whatever life-sustaining resource 
they can scrounge from this sterile land. Even Narlex, who's held nothing but noble intentions, shows that goodness can falter in the wake of unchecked ambition. There are those born without fangs who can be the most monstrous of us all. This is a land of extremes, resonating with old hatred and new beginnings. It is here where we ask, is it possible to truly restore that which is broken beyond repair, to break the cycle of violence, or are we doomed to forever fall in the footsteps of our forefathers? <laughs>